we are going to purple shampoo my disgusting hair because I'm ready to dye it brown right now uh, because it's so freaking gross and the regrowth is disgusting and it's just not ashy enough what's wrong with your color your color is very beautiful I want to show you how yellow my hair currently looks so you guys get a real before after with the same lighting and these are the things you're gonna need it's more yellow than the first look I got but maybe a toner would be better so you're gonna need a purple shampoo this is the one I use Fanola is also a great brand it's a good brand it's I heard a lot of good things about that a comb and some gloves I thought this would be a fun video to do whilst I'm vlogging today because I literally leave my purple shampoo in for an hour as you guys can tell my hair is not curly right now just because i've been at home and there's no real reason to keep putting so much product in it so i just decided to wash my hair and then comb through it and literally leave it actually i combed it through with the dyson blow dryer listen if you are doing that on dry hair if you are having highlights or bleached hair the one string is more fragile is more porous than another one so if you are putting a product with a lot of pigments in it like for example purple shampoo that has a lot of purple pigments in it the one string will absorb a lot more purple than the other one it will not even it out so you will have yellow strings and very ashy with some purple pigments strings in it so it will be less beautiful than you have now it will fade that's a good thing because it's a shampoo but there are a lot of strings even in the front and the front is always more porous because it's if you do it in a ponytail that is the hair that is in the sun in the wind that is always more porous the the, the, the little hairs in the front uh, so maybe the purple shampoo will not wash off completely in that area i'm just coming through as you can see it's quite easy because i had it in a plait yesterday all day and when your hair is not really curly it's a lot easier to comb through my hair feels so silky smooth now that we are done <laughs> that has grown so much i only dyed my hair two months ago i think now we are going to grab some gloves that seem very big the other thing you'll need is like a tarp or something to sit on i have my art tarp here so yes be 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 careful for your floor for your furniture because toners like like manic panic that that are very flashy colors they are direct pigments uh, like purple shampoo that's also direct pigment these pigments are really a stain on your furniture or your floor so please protect your floor and your furniture if you are coloring your hair that's very important very after coming important. through the hair section it off we are ready for business so we're going in with our purple shampoo oh look at that it's so beautiful and juicy if you want to have a bigger chance of not having different colors please take fine sections make sure that the product is distributed all over your hair if you are just going in big sections it will be more difficult to have an even result make sure we get all in here see how this is still blonde we want this to be purple we want it all to be purple then you need to take fine sections so i'm not going to show you guys section by section so i'm just going to do a little time lapse squeaky squeak my hair is saying goodbye to you i would love to see more fine sections really 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 do but you are not taking fine sections you are taking big sections and you have to pull the hair in between in the middle so to see if the purple is in the middle it's better to do fine section by fine section and then you know it's good my hair is normally extremely ashy because i upkeep every two weeks with my purple shampoo normally but i've just been so lazy and to anyone else that is feeling extremely lazy and unmotivated i feel exactly the same you see this is again the big section she's pulling it open see if the purple is in between take fine sections make sure that it's accurate and equally distributed and then you will have 
a more equal result. Sitting in all areas, this is what it looks like right now. All purple, all in, all in or nothing. I don't think it's all in. I hope it's in. done at the back. I'm just gonna put some extra squirts at the back just in case. The last time I did this, Mick was like, you, why is your hair purple? I was like, I dyed it again. I'm dying it right now. He's like, no, seriously. I liked it more blonde than the purple. So this is what we're gonna be working with for three hours, just chilling in my hairs. But we're gonna tie it up. So I'm gonna just do it in little princess layer buns. Don't forget that you wanna get a purple shampoo that is really dark purple and pigmented. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Because we are doing it in dots with a band, there will the purple shampoo work less or the toner or the Manic Panic or whatever. So don't do that. Don't put any bands in your hair. So now that I have this in, it's gonna sit in my hair for about three hours, maybe four. We'll see how we feel. But we're gonna get on with the vlog. So let's get on with the day. Bye bye. This is the only mess that we've made while Whoa. we doing uh, that little process there. Right now I'm gonna wash my legs. It was better that you uh, protect your floor. It comes off really easy. You wanna try and tackle it straight away so it's not just sitting in the skin. Maybe a little bit off my face because it's a little everywhere. Let's see if these results are worth it. And we've got nothing better to do in this time. So let's just let it sit in for three and a half, four hours, maybe all day. We'll see how it goes. Let's go and eat some breakfast. Hey Google, can you set a timer for three hours and 30 minutes? Three hours and 30 minutes. And that's starting now. Sweet. Real question for a second. Has anyone actually ever tried to dye their hair with blueberries? We have seen people dyeing their hair with berries. It was not a success. Okay, so the shower's running, but I low-key think this has been in my hair now for four hours and 20 minutes, which is a record. I don't think I've ever seen anyone leave it in longer than an hour. I haven't seen that either. Or two. So this is what we're working with. And you can tell that my hair is naturally curly because uh, it's gone curly. I just got out of the shower, as you can tell, because I have my pump hair hair turban in. I saw one strand that was still purple because my hair is quite uneven. So one part of my hair that is more ashy might be more purple than others. Curly hair tip. Never dry your hair with a towel. Either a microfiber towel. Yes, if you have curls, don't be aggressive with your curls. Try to dry it very gently because curls need moisture. And if you are drying it very heavily, then you are stressing your curls and you will have less beautiful curls. Curls need moisture, a lot of moisture in your hair. If it's possible, even an old t-shirt. So you wash your hair in the morning and you put a t-shirt around your head and you go for breakfast. And then afterwards you take the t-shirt out and a lot of moisture, water is going into that old t-shirt and it will curl more beautiful. Not that I have experience with curly hair, but as a hairdresser, I know these kind of things. Some parts are actually purple. And other ones are actually yellow. <laughs> actually though, like I wouldn't mind being purple again. Let's get a close up on this. Very ashy though. But I'm not sure how I feel about some being purple and some not. Like, I mean, it's not bad. But this is wet, right? And I'm not going to style curly. Because I want you guys to get the full effect. So after I washed out the purple shampoo, I literally just put my purple conditioner in. Left that in for about five minutes. And then washed it out. The purple conditioner I use is Purology. And I've been using them for over two years now, I think. Oh, I worked with Purology in my salon. Purology is a very good brand. I absolutely love, I mean love, their purple conditioner. It's quite pigmented too. It's very moisturizing though. My hair feels so soft all the time after using their purple conditioner. If you guys want to go and buy that purple shampoo, it's linked down below. I've got a really big one liter bottle that's lasted me probably about just over 
seven or eight months now. It's still going, so it'll be like a year long thing. In between purple shampoo washes, I do curly hair washes. So you don't want to use your purple shampoo every week. You want to spread it out because it's not good for your hair. True, that's very, very true. And because purple shampoo is not a cleansing shampoo, you, it's not taking out of it all the greasiness and all. So maybe wash it the first time with a normal shampoo and the second time with a purple shampoo. And every time if you are using a purple shampoo, every wash it, sometimes it's over coloring, over neutralizing your uh, gray hair or blonde hair and it will turn purple like she will have now in bits and pieces. We're just gonna comb through because I want my hair to go semi straight. I don't use any heat on oh, this part. See how yellow and brassy that still is? Like why babes? Why don't you like me? It's not because the shampoo is not meant for toning your hair for four hours and if your hair is too yellowy uh, it cannot neutralize all the yellow pigments. It's just to maintain your blonde and gray color. It's not meant for a toning. And the other hairs, even in the front, as I said, the front pieces are more porous and absorbs all the purple. It's a normal result. But I want to see it straight so we see the color. When I got my hair done from my salon in Australia, like my hair always went ashy. I guess it just means I need to make another trip to Australia to go to my hairstylist. Okay, some parts have gone ashy and purple. <laughs> and some are still... Brassias, <laughs> sounds like gracias, but I was saying brassias. So, when I straighten my hair, I don't use any heat. If you guys want to see a tutorial on that and what I use, then comment down below. But yeah, you can still make it straight without any heat, even if you are a curly girl. That's a very good thing. Heat kills your hair. She's really good. She knows what she's doing. And I can show you my ways just comment down below i'm going to style my hair now and i'll see you guys when it's done to see the final results okay guys these are the end results <laughs> so part of my hair went purple i kind of dig it i expect it to be worse it has a vibe it has some kind of vibe. Is it perfect? No. It's like a pastel purple in between. The brassiness, eh, but I can live with that. Not gonna lie. Let's get a closer look. So it's like a very faint purple. But you can tell where it's really grasped onto. And the top half it didn't catch onto. This is what the bottom looks like. Definitely not yellow anymore down here. Like overall, like I wore my hair on the side like this, like low-key looks like I've got purple hair. If you didn't have the yellow band in the top sections, it will be actually a very good color. But unfortunately, we have the yellow pieces. What do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know. Are you going to try this at home? I would not try it at home for four hours, but is it a complete fail? I will not say it's... I have seen worse things in my life. It's too bad that the yellow banding is on top and it will fade out. So nothing to worry about that. Although the very porous pieces maybe will stay purple too long. Press one of these videos to see more hair fails and hair tips. Have you learned from this video? Have been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Press that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is... Tchau,